Hi everyone, welcome back to Rover Restoration. Um, yeah, like I was saying in the last episode, um, all the welding's finished now, so now it's time to move on and start scraping this underseal off. I know it's not going to be the most exciting, but at least you can see what I'm doing. In actual fact, before I went home last time, I did actually manage to do one side. I don't know how well the video camera picked that up, but as you can see, I've scraped all of that side off. What I normally do is like get a bit of thinners or carb cleaner or whatever and then just give it a wipe over with, that, with a rag and that will take the rest of that off. So I need to carry on on this side and scrape this lot off. So I'll set the camera up and get on with it. Right, so like before when I've done this, it's got an old paint scraper. Gun, or air gun would be just as good, but this is a bit quieter, keep the neighbours happy. Ish. Not too bad doing this, this side, or on the floor because it's fairly flat. There's a lot of pain at the back with all the different angles. You just gotta try and get a happy medium because you don't want it to catch fire but you just want it to soften up enough so you can so it makes it easier to get it off.
aber erstmal ein Steuer auf. Ich kann der Beste. Ich will get drill with a wire wheel bit in there. The best thing is, is I haven't found any more rust. So that's all right. Hopefully, you can see this, but it leaves a bit of a film on there. Right, I just tried a bit here. Well, I mean, I use this stuff because I we'll get it for nothing. But uh, you could use thinners or whatever, and all I do. Fire a bit of that on. Even like that, you can see there's lift in it. With any bits that are left on there. And then just agitate it a bit with a brush. And then give it a bit of a wipe with a rag. Depends how far you want to go. If you're just re-undersealing it, then it probably doesn't matter so much. But as you can see, that takes it off pretty good. Apart from that bit there. That's right if you get your idea there. And just keep going. The trouble with this stuff is it evaporates quite quickly, so Yeah, takes off pretty well. All right, let's carry on with that, and then I'll be back. All right, so I've cleared all the floor pans off now, going right up into here, including that front suspension mount. Started there, but I'm going to finish off cleaning up inside the wheel arch. I did this. I've done the bits that are off of there. I've done that absolutely ages ago, but never finished it because it's such a horrible job. But yeah, we try and get the rest of that off, and that's probably going to be about it because I'm not spending too long over here today. But I've already spent longer than what I was planning on. But we'll try and get that bit done at least. It's just a 
bit awkward under here because it's because it like the top of the wheel arch is curved. I never used this when I've done it before, I was just chipping it all off. See. Probably not a lot. Try and see what you can see. Try and tilt it back a bit more.
So that's that bit done under there. Well, I say done. Cleaned up a bit. Let's have a closer look. I don't know what you'll be able to see up in here. But not a lot. No, absolutely awful. I think you can sort of get the idea. Obviously it's going to be coated up with that Raptor stuff again like the back end was. But yeah, it's done a little bit more clean than the one there, but, but yeah, at least the worst of it's off now. Right, so that's it again I'm afraid, uh, yeah not a lot happening, but we've got it all scraped off now, well not all scraped off, some of it scraped off, we've got the floor pans are all scraped off both sides, up into that bit there, I've took the battery cable out as well, where it joins through the bulkhead, just to make things a bit easier. Took that brake pipe off now, which I should have took that off ages ago. All it's been is in the way for ages. So yeah, that's all stripped off. It's all stripped under the wheel arches you saw in the last little bit of film. So we still got there's a little bit inside of that tunnel there to strip off. Locked under this arch, which you can't really see because I think the camera's filthy. And sort of all the lower suspension and that before I'll then carry on for the to do under the engine bay and that. But yeah, it's a bit of a bit extra coming over here today anyway. I wasn't planning on coming over it, so it's just a little extra bonus video. So till next time. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the like button if you like it, and I'll see you next time.